Hey, hi, hello, welcome back to a new video. This is Sampath, you're watching Sampath SamFX YouTube channel and this is Xiaomi Mi 11X or the Poco F3 or the Redmi K40 custom ROM. Reviews here I brought with Afterlife version 5.0, last is the version name, Android version is 13, you guys can see here the logo of the uh, Afterlife version here, Android security patches December 5th, 2023 because it was a January 1st build guys and Google Play system update is 13 and kernel user is Jinnit kernel 4.19.302 and build number and base band and Linux status is enforcing this is a version update and this is typical home screen and this is the app drawer and this is the quick settings panel you guys can see here downwards you can move that and this is the automatic brightness toggle here and there is a internet button uh, the quick settings panel is a mix of MIUI and even a Android, I mean stock Android experience, but I really like it even you get Dolby Atmos, Sync option, location and dark theme from here and some of the other settings, CPU results also, you guys can see from here, let me try to show that, yeah, as you can see, this are the results you get from there and in the edit section, there are some options actually, as you can see, if you want to add them, you can drag and add them in the quick settings toggle here, that's really good and really different from any other custom ROMs and moving into dialer here it's a simple google dialer you also get a direct video call feature and there is even a call recording feature but it will announce the other person that you are recording the call and camera application here you get a proper MIUI camera with leica integrated here as you can see authentic and vibration you can sorry vibrant you can select from that and in the video you just get this video as you can see 4k 60 is present and into the settings you get all these options camera app is fully loaded with features no need to worry regarding that and DRAM information also you can also judge the app opening time level 1 certified it means you can watch all the audit application in high definition resolution you also get this game space here if you want to add the game for example i am adding bgma and into the settings use the angle experimental it is still and preferred mode standard performance make it performance to get better experience and also in the settings i'll show some other modes what we get and before that i want to show this echo battery also i haven't set up it out anyhow we'll do now yeah we'll go into this settings and select all apps and go to echo battery and don't optimize now it will be shown on this quick settings toggle isn't not no notifications okay now it is displayed here anyhow it took a little bit of time than any other custom rooms and you will get this two types of file manager why i need to i will delete one of them yeah you can disable one of them uh, and this is the wallpaper it's cool they have done their own wallpaper but if you want to check other wallpapers you can do that after home settings again you get here are the icon pack as you can see if you install certain apps you will get that notification dots again there are plenty of options regarding that icon size you can adjust font size and max lines for app level and forced themed icons also you can do that as you can see will it take a little bit of time or immediately it will do actually done that it is taking time maybe anyhow icons i made it forced themed icons generic themed icon for apps that do not have require retoggling or themed icons but i can't see that maybe bug uh, i think so anyhow and into the home screen again you get plenty of options double tap to sleep single page center font you can do that short parallax you can allow or disable from your status bar again there are some customization in terms of home screen music search also you can add in the home screen here okay it is restarting now and the themed icons now let's see for search bar I haven't added search yeah now it is applied but for some reason here in the icons that's the force theme icons is not working it should restart actually the anyhow that's the one thing is simply not working maybe anyhow these are the options memory information if you want you can add in the recent as you can see 1.7 gp available these are some cool customization from afterlife project into there uh, home launcher here now moving into some of the other results like uh, safety net status yes it will get passed no need to worry using payment applications like google pay phone pay paytm you know sb whatever you want to use those going to work fine and whatsapp is also working fine no problem regarding any of the apps here you also get some uh, extra features will be explained in a while 
and some benchmark results will do that images no i'll go to this file manager this is convenient here yeah this all the scores what i got 572 is a single score and 2185 is a multi-score and android versions 13 links 4.19.302 zenith r64 bit kernel has been used here and i have run 100 threat test of cpu throttling test you guys can see here the maximum is around 277 and the average is 227 and minimum is of 200 it is throttled to 79 percent of its max performance guys but anyhow it's quite good in my experience of using this for one day it's quite good and 33 watt charging support is also there in this particular room now moving into settings it's quite simple but organized in different manner in the after laps you get a lot more here into the status bar again logo you can position them you can't change the logo but this is the afterlife logo you guys can see that yeah even you can change the clock position and clock mpm style other things padding uh, top left right you can pad them out this status bar uh, 4g icon display 5g indicator instead of lte or 4g that also you can do it from here combined signal icons and other things you can check out on the screen again themes here after life style after life username and dashboard style category preference styles and some of the bonnet engine customizations are also pre-applied here as you can see you can customize them and these all the things will remain same in any of the custom rooms even in gestures the system navigation you can see the pill length guys uh, will go down yeah pill length actually you can adjust this custom pill handle enable that and you can get the adjustment of length and radius as you can see and bottom if you want to be embedded in the screen i want always bottom because to use one handed mode it is more convenient in my opinion and by the way if you first time to this channel hit that subscribe button down below guys and also all of the bell notification by pressing the bell icon and if you like the video give it a like and we'll see some other settings here in lock skin there are some customization as you can see notifications quick settings I already shown this yeah it is checking will it give now themed icons let's see that first no that's the bug here animation style and all will be given in the miscellaneous settings again you get unlimited photo storage for google photos is available high fps count in bgma kind of games is also available and other settings you can see here power menu advanced restart button also available these are actually after collapse now moving into actual settings sound and vibration again you get plenty of options here dolby atmos is there you can choose the profile equalizer preset sound surround virtualizer and dialog enhancer keep it high or make it whatever you want you can customize them my personal preference is high and clear speaker options and other things like default notification sounds media spatial audio is also given even wired and phone speaker there is no bluetooth support anyhow and this is how it is and display settings again external and adaptive brightness dark theme is given but it's not in pitch black condition anyhow it's good but not great enough night light feature is also there live display is there colors again you can customize plenty of options are there you guys can see dc dimming is also given battery life again battery life going to be very good in this particular room because of android 13 guys uh, battery saver extreme battery saver is also given it's quite similar to any of the aosp roms accessibility menu again it's an handy feature yeah without actually touching the physical buttons of volume you can actually increase or decrease or other things it's a handy feature i keep on telling this in every video these are the settings and everything is uh, i really like the rom as you can see it's very smooth enough to handle all your daily tasks and physical fingerprint scanner as you can see yeah it is uh, yeah we'll check once again i think i have applied the actually i used this finger actually i was trying different one as you can see i forget sometimes as you can see it's unlocking even with fingerprint unlock and now the face unlock it's also working fine i think so recognizing face yeah it is working fine both fingerprint unlock and face unlock are working fine here maybe you should give plenty of uh, presets here i mean set of photos you can add again and again give it out uh, then it will be easy to unlock your smartphone using that but it's not a 
problem for me at least and we'll see how it handle the bgm before that we have to see andrew to benchmark results also people see my video only for this also i don't think so why they don't see entire video anyhow 6 lakhs 93 nine thousand three hundred and seventy is the score and two degrees of temperature has been raised and five percentage of battery has been dropped during this entire testing on this me 11x after using this afterlife project but anyhow this is very low scores compared to other uh, gaming roms let's see how it handle in actual gameplay here and here we go obviously we get smooth plus 90 fps option enabled here because of that miscellaneous settings you need to enable that some people skip the video and just see this and they'll comment down how to enable the high fps count in this kind of games uh, i don't want this one also it is smooth you can also see the real time fps count here this is the app uh, sorry this rom feature it is currently smooth but i can't say a bit handle uh, yeah that was fine okay that was cool shot but i also got down now anyhow many people watch my video but they don't subscribe to my channel and also they will not like the video i recommend you to subscribe the channel and also give it a like guys i will be motivated to make similar kind of videos like this i really found this from is very good here very much consistent you are getting 90 fps but you guys complain me that play irangle i mean the classic match and check out it will make difference definitely i do understand that but it is going to be better than any other roms that i can give you conclusion as you can see it's very very smooth uh, even in counter attacks and all as you can see i haven't faced any lag here uh, i'll come back here this is the rom performance and this is the benchmark results and everything i have explained here physical fingerprint scanner and even dolby atmos experience through speakers stereo speakers are good and these are the echo battery results and 33 watt charging support is also available here no need to worry if you want to use it as a daily driver go ahead and flash this custom rom flashing method is given in the description what type of firmware i have used that's also given in the description check out the description join the whatsapp group for me 11x or poco f3 or the redmi k40 guys it's going to be good for you if you join that whatsapp group uh, all the links will be given there and you can chit chat with your co-owners of this me 11x or the poco f3 or the redmi k40 this is sampath signing off we'll meet you with another interesting video until that keep smiling bye bye for now